so uh hello everyone in this uh, very uh, quickly session i want to show you a control that i created for the pmp control gallery and the control is uh, the adaptive card host control so let me explain the agenda i want to show you the reason behind the implementation of this control why i choose the adaptive card sdk to implement this control just an introduction on how to use this control and then i'll show you the code and different scenario on use the control then i'll show you the next steps of the implementation and some references so first of all why i create this control uh, basically you know that uh, with aces uh, you are able to define the ui of uh, this component by using the adaptive card and then uh, by using the json uh, files but uh, when you want to create an aware part, you are not able at this moment to define the UI by using a uh, declarative way. So basically, uh, some customer ask me uh, the same component, the same uh, web parts, but uh, with, with the identical functionality, but uh, that we differ for the UI part. So in some time, I tried different way to, to try to change the UI at runtime uh, without recompile the solution. And this is the reason why I choose the adaptive card. So why I choose the adaptive card SDK? SDK? Because it's a great framework to create a UI. It's supportable, it's open, it's easy to define and consume, is expressive, is poor declarative, and the good part that it's the automatically styled by the host application UX. So I create this control, this React control. It's already available inside the PMP React uh, controls library. And basically, it's just one, uh, one React control that have some properties. Almost all these properties are not required, but there are some properties like uh, the card. It's required because I need to pass the template uh, to, uh, to render the adaptive card. And then uh, some properties like uh, the data, if you want to pass an object that contains the data that you want to apply by using the adaptive card template. And some callbacks uh, to intercept the actions. For example, if you invoke a submit action, you are able to uh, catch this, uh, uh, this action or the error, if there are some error in the rendering of the, of the card. And uh, another good part, it's uh, some callbacks to uh, add custom elements and custom action. Because adaptive card, it's open. If you want to create a new element, you are able and then you have to register this new element or action inside the adaptive card SDK object. Uh, this control provides some callbacks to register new card element and new card action. And there are another callback to inject inside the host capability object of the adaptive card some custom properties. For example, if you want to pass uh, uh, a specific property to all the action or all two elements of uh, the adaptive card that you want to render, you are able to, to use the host capability and then set your custom property with the, the proper value. OK, this is the two different scenario. The first one, it's on a web part that uh, it's hosted inside uh, uh, on a SharePoint page. And uh, by this control, we are able to use different kind of theme. Uh, for example, we are able to use the, def the default theme applied to the site or the theme applied to the specific section uh, when the web part it's uh, uh, it's rendered, or we can set different uh, team. For example, I implemented three team: one for the default team for teams, one for dark team, and for eye contrast. Or if you want to use the same web part but host it as a, a team stub, you are able to do, and uh, automatically. So the web part are able to check uh, the, the, the team applied to, to, an, to, to the team client and then pass the correct value to the control. So 
The good part uh, you're able to see in, in this slide uh, is that uh, all the UI, it's uh, rendered with the current team and the control like the buttons or the actions or the input uh, of the, the cart are rendered by using the Fluent UI uh, components. This is the uh, very interesting feature because uh, if you try to use the default SDK directly inside your code, you are not able to render the Fluent UI component. It's rendered by using the standard UI of the action and element for, for adaptive card. But uh, uh, you know that exists on a, on a library uh, implemented by Microsoft uh, to render the input and uh, actions uh, by using the Fluent UI, but it's not working with the last version, 1.5 of the adaptive card. So basically, I create this control by rebuild from scratch all the controls, all the input, all the actions uh, by using uh, the latest version of the Fluent UI available for SharePoint framework. So let me show just uh, the demo and uh, the code. So this is the demo of the, the web part. Basically, the web part uh, uh, that you can find inside the PMP web part examples, you are able to select the card that you want to render, just for example, OK? And you are able to set the theme that you want to apply to the control, OK? The, inside the example, I implemented the, all the sample that I found inside the, uh, the, the GitHub repository uh, for adaptive card. And uh, this is uh, one of the most complex uh, card in terms of uh, UI that you can uh, find uh, for the examples. And you are able to see that uh, all the UI will be rendered by using the correct theme. If I select SharePoint and I try to change the section background, you are able, that, you're able to see that uh, the, the, the theme is completed changed. OK, let me show you the code. We don't have uh, too much time, but uh, so this is the the code, the, the component inside the, the React control for the, for the web part. You have to set some, uh, of course, property, for example, card, data, if you want to pass data, theme, if you have uh, an, a team and you want to pass directly uh, to, to the control, the team type, if you don't want to pass the team, but uh, you want to, to change the type of team that you want to use, for example, SharePoint, or Teams, Teams Dark, or team Side Contrast, and on Action Invoke on Errors. I want to show you on a, on a card that contains some inputs. OK, another one, it's this one, no, uh, this one. OK, all the inputs are the Fluent UI controls. And uh, it's very simple to use. I created an uh, PR, and I think that it's we will be available uh, very soon by adding a new property to pass the context object of the web part. And uh, if you pass this property, this context, you the control uh, automatically inject uh, some of the context property inside the data object, and you will be able to use this context property directly inside the, the template of your card. So the control, basically, it's implemented uh, by using the adaptive card SDK. And it's implemented by a uh, function React component by using a lot of uh, React hooks, like use reference or use context to save some information. When we set some properties, like the theme, there are some code to create the theme for team default, uh, dark, uh, high contrast, uh, or convert uh, the team that comes from the web part to full team for, for the object. Uh, and uh, there are a lot of code, but the, uh, the main part is uh, this one. When we take the instance of the uh, adaptive card reference, we can take the template that comes from the property card, inject some context property, like the current team uh, and the context uh, that come from the web part. Uh, we can expand this evaluation context inside the, uh, the, 
the, the template of the card. And then at the end, we, we are able to parse the card and then inject directly inside the div element of the component. All the, the card, it's positioned inside on a team provider to apply automatically inside of this, uh, this div uh, all the, the team that come from, uh, from SharePoint Frame. I want to show you some codes again, and this is the part when I implement all the elements like the time input or, for example, uh, inline actions or, uh, come on, text input and a lot, all the elements and all the action are re-implemented by using the Fluent UI. So I think that uh, I cover all the aspects of this control uh, in a very quick way. We come back to the slides. So what is the next step? I'm started to implement the designer. So uh, basically, we want to have uh, the same component, but to render the adaptive card designer as an a React component, because I think that it's very important to have a designer inside your web part, because if you want to change the, the card at runtime, it's very cool to have a designer to edit the card at runtime. And then with the help of uh, Yoao, we can think to create a new adaptive card elements, of course, targeted only for the JavaScript implementation of the SDK maybe using the Fluent UI React or the web components, or uh, you all already started to implement that, uh, some elements that use the Microsoft Graph Toolkit and then use directly inside the adaptive card host component, or maybe by using uh, another libraries. So a few words about me. I'm the CEO, I'm Fabio Franzini, I'm the CEO of the uh, AppV solution. And I'm Microsoft MVP in two categories, uh, office, office development and business application. So you can find some links like uh, my email, the Twitter account or LinkedIn or GitHub. If you want to contact me, please use this uh, information. So there are some references, the adaptivecards.io, it's the entry point if you want to learn uh, about uh, the adaptive cards. The second link, link is the page of the adaptive card host control for the PMP React control library. And the last link, it's the repo that contains the web part that I show you in this demo. So for me, it's all. Thank you and back to you, Patrick. All right, awesome stuff. Thank you for that. Very cool techniques there with adaptive cards. Excited to see that get built and shown off. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.